Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way down to the depths. But before we do, I want to let everybody know I did put on the longbow... I also equipped some gold pine resin, a homeward bone, and I put on Havel's ring. I also cleaned out my inventory a little bit um, and put a lot of stuff in my bottomless box. It's going to be a very long video, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to run up to the top of the stairs. We're just going to keep heading up. This is where we fought the Taurus Demon. There is going to be a lot of running in this episode. We're going to use our basement key to open up this door. Slide down the ladder. Before we go down that way, we're going to run up these stairs. Be careful not to fall down. This is a very awkward spot to be... Level design wise, that, just that spot right there, is kind of poorly designed. Well, I don't want to say it's poorly designed, but I just think it wasn't thought out very well. We're going to sit at this bonfire. The only reason I want to sit at it is just in case we die, we don't have a long run back. We had one guy chase us from over there. Again, be careful with these stairs. Easy to fall off to your doom. Oops, stupid dogs. There's one more patrolling back there. We'll get his attention real quick. Kind of hold your shield out. It'll help. Let's go ahead and save an NPC real fast. Somebody. Please let me out of here. Somebody. Anybody. Help me. Unlock the door. Damn. I'm finished. How did this ever happen? We can use the residence key to open up the door. Let's go ahead and talk to Griggs. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. And then right here, we're going to roll into these barrels. You don't want to swing your weapon because then it can accidentally hit Griggs. We're going to pick up the sorcerer's armor and the sorcerer's catalyst. If you're already a sorcerer, it's a very pointless thing to pick up if you're not a sorcerer it could be a pointless thing to pick up you just never know be careful with these torch hollows oh my goodness he almost killed me exactly why you want to be careful with those torch hollows
Pick up some twin humanities. We're going to two-hand our weapon real quick. If we come up to these doors, we can hit them and kill the enemies behind them. Spoil their ambush. We'll only have to kill one of them. There we go. I'm going to backtrack just for a second here. Nice. We got the hollow thief's tights. Pick up the mail breaker. Now be careful. You're going to get three of these thieves. What I like to do is get them all grouped up, not kick, but get them all grouped up and then just swing and kill them all in one shot. There we go. Right here is one of my favorite armor sets in the game. We also get the target shield. We're going to go ahead and put this armor on, the thief mask. Black leather armor, black leather gloves, and the black leather boots. This is also why we're wearing Havel's ring. So we'll be able to roll normally with it instead of fat roll. Go ahead and pick up a soul. All right, right here is a very cramped boss fight. The best thing you can do is as soon as you come through this doorway, just start dodging. Because there's two dogs, and then there's the Capra demon. I like to lure him over here, hold up my shield, get him to jump, two hand, back step, and then plunge, plunge attack down. And then rinse and repeat. Every now and then, it doesn't work so well. There we go. Two plunging, two plunging attacks and then one hit. So we got the key to the depths. We got a humanity and a homeward bone. Be careful, we have one of those thieves off in the distance, but if you go to your left, there's a sneaky one right in front, trying to get a backstab on you. Up there's a doorway, we'll be going through that shortly. First we're going to go down to the depths and get a few things done. Then we'll run up there and head to Firelink Shrine and talk to a few NPCs. Go ahead and use your key to the depths to come down here. We're going to sprint. Kill this first hollow. The second hollow. Immediately turn around. And kill that third hollow that's behind you. Grab some more souls here. Or, well, a soul. Wasn't multiple, just one. Again, be careful with these torch hollows. They hurt. But, one good thing about hollows is they bounce off your shield. If you have a good... Uh, if you have a decent shield... They'll bounce off. Like the Grass Crest Shield is a pretty decent shield. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's got a lot of pros compared to cons. Go ahead and take that dog out. Got one more dog to take out. And then be careful for these Butcher Ladies. You can parry them. They're not hard to parry, but I'm going to do some backstab fishing to show everybody how easy it can be to get some backstabs instead of always parrying. There you go. 
Just kind of hold your shield out, wait for them to swing, and then, you know, fish for a backstab. Once you see the opportunity, take it. Go ahead and grab the large ember in this chest. And then right here, we get the sack hood. She has a chance to drop it. If she doesn't, we have another one that we could kill, and it's a guaranteed drop. We're going to two-hand. Right here, we have a very big rat. This rat is kind of a pain. Let's pick up the spider shield, by the way. As soon as you hop off, you want to swing your sword to get a plunging attack on him. If you don't, you're going to have to fight him outright. So it did not work. It's one of those things that's just very finicky because it's such a short drop that it's very easy to miss the plunging attack. Grab the soul of a nameless soldier. Then we're going to grab the sewer chamber key. We're going to use that in just a second here. Right here, you want to stay to the left. If you don't, you're going to fall into a hole. You don't want to be down there just yet. That hole um, has a bunch of basilisks down there. There's a slime or a blob. We, need, we don't need to worry about him just yet. But just stay to the left whenever you're sliding down there. Just kind of hug the wall. Open up this door. Climb the ladder. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold out your shield. We got another torch hollow. And then we can use the sewer chamber key. We're going to rest at this bonfire. And then we're going to kindle it. And the reason why is because we're going to use a homeward bone to come back here after going to Firelink Shrine. Instead of having to run all the way back down, we can just homeward bone back. Right here, we want to hold up our shield again. Let him hit it. Bounce off. Be careful. There's a bunch of slimes on the ceiling. Just run. Don't stop. Two hand, kill this torch hollow, and just keep moving. Right here we got a slime up top, so what we want to do is get close, roll away. Kill the slime so we can get that item. Let some of our stamina regen there. Grab another soul. And then we're about to fight another butcher lady. So if you didn't get the sack hood from the first one, you are guaranteed to get it from this one. See if I can't parry her. Yeah. Pretty easy parry. When they do that attack, it's, you know, when they're at the top of their attack, just, uh, Parry. Can't parry that. Don't even try. I would just block that if you can. Or just back away. Let's go ahead and save uh, Laurentius. You. Yeah, yes, you. Here, over, over here. Please, you must help me. Again, roll through the barrels so you don't hit the NPC. Let's go ahead and talk to him real fast. Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eaten alive, I started to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Laurentius, or the Great Swamp. I will not forget my debt to you. Let's go ahead and fall down this break in the wall. The first dog we killed over here, by the way, be careful, there are dogs in this water, but if you hug the wall to the left, they won't mess with you, they'll just stay over there. But there is a dog right here that we killed earlier. That one respawns, none of the butcher ladies respawn after you kill them, 
and the dog that was next to her doesn't respawn either so you don't have to worry about them anymore just got to kill them once be careful it broke my uh guard there from my stamina running out Yeah, that frenzy attack can really mess you up with the torch. Slowly make your way through here so you're not... I thought they were closer. That's my bad there. Run up to the top and then now we're gonna go through this doorway that I was talking about earlier kill this hollow with the bow and then we're gonna talk to an NPC merchant you still have your senses about you then why won't you buy some of my moss I need your souls. <laughs> this is a wonderful place, don't you think? We have water, moss, moisture, these nice iron bars. I like it here, I really do. Nothing good ever happened to me in life. But now that I'm undead, I've never been happier. She sells a lot of good stuff. As a matter of fact, to me, she's the most important merchant in the game. She sells transient curses, which we'll be needing much later into the walkthrough. Homeward bones and purging stones. So if you get cursed, you can come here, buy a purging stone, and cure your curse. She sells a lot of other stuff like rotten pine resin and charcoal pine resin. Um... That'll put poison and, and fire on your sword and whatnot. And then she also sells fire arrows and poison arrows, which can be useful in their own ways as well. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Dread. What a humdrum lad you are. We'll be coming back um, in a later episode to buy some dung pies from her. We'll be needing them as we go down into Lower Blight Town. Let's go ahead and kill this rat. We're also going to be fighting another boss in this episode today as well. We're going to be fighting the Gaping Dragon. It's not too hard. That's why we have our pine resin equipped. Take him out. Let's go ahead and talk to Griggs, Laurentius, and Petrus, along with Crestfallen and Lawtrek. Let's go ahead and talk to Griggs real quick. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I am happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. Have you heard of Big Hat Logan? Master Logan is a great sorcerer and my teacher. Both of us came to this land as undead. But one day, he departed, leaving only a note. I suppose you wish to keep me out of harm's way. But where does that leave me? I have dedicated myself to sorcery. But Master Logan could find no use for me. Ah, yes. The note that Master Logan left. It only said he would travel to Anolondo by way of Sen's fortress. I can only guess that he seeks the regal archives. For Master Logan is a tireless pursuer of wisdom. Wisdom trumps all. Everything else is hogwash. When the curse turned him undead, 
I'm certain that he only felt it was the perfect chance to visit this land. I only wish that I had his courage. He sells us all sorts of sorceries. So if you're a sorcerer, this is where you're going to get your sorceries. You can buy a sorcerer's catalyst for him, but very pointless. You can get two rings if you'd like. It'll help uh, lengthen the sorcery effects along with boost the damage of sorceries as well. Goodbye then. Do stay safe. Let's go ahead and go over to Petrus. Talk to his companions. And then him. Hmm? Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Oh, you again. What business have you? I don't suppose we can help, though. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her. And Nico, too. I can't very well abandon them now. You are undead as well? Then we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. Let's go ahead and talk to Petrus now. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. By the way, do not sit at the bonfire at Firelink Shrine. I repeat, do not sit at that bonfire. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my Pyromancy of the Great Swamp, so I can usually manage with a bit of care. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it, all you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, and unless you find the magics unsavory. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. A flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Why, let's get started right now. We're gonna go ahead and grab combustion. And then we're gonna modify our pyromancy flame all the way up to plus seven. If you can't do that, go ahead and pop a few souls until you can. Let's go ahead and talk to Laurentius one more time. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it, just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. Let's go ahead and talk to Crestfallen. Why, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait, was it you? You never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Well, don't stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> Did you see her, that virtuous little maiden, complete with followers in tow? They're probably going straight to pillage graves. I've heard enough about my lady for a lifetime. What's wrong? Get a bit of a scare out there? No problem. Have a seat and get comfortable. We'll both be hollow before you know it. <laughs> Well, what are you going to do? I've already decided. I don't really care. I'm simply crestfallen. 
How did that nutty sorcerer make it back? Unexpected. But I suppose stranger things have happened. Again, don't sit at the bonfire at Firelink Shrine. Let's go ahead and talk to Lawtrek. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please, accept it. I am grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> not enough for you. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> that dude is definitely up to no good. Let's go ahead and reinforce our Estus flask. And then I will use a homeward bone to head back to the depths. I'll see everybody there. Let's go ahead and rest at the bonfire. We're going to tune magic. I'm going to tune our combustion. And then we're going to put on our pyromancy flame. Be careful. There's going to be a ton of rats over here. These rats have an okay chance to drop a manatee, which you just seen me pick up, along with this great axe here. There's actually a good farming spot for large titanite shards and green titanite shards down here in the depths, along with humanity from these rats, which at the end of the episode here, I will show everybody the farming method for both humanity um, large Titanite Shards and the Green Titanite Shards. I'm going to probably get about 40 um, Humanity built up. And then I'll probably grab enough Large Shards and Green Shards to level up my weapons and my armor. Ooh, be careful. These rats are no joke, along with that channeler. Can really mess you up. He's doing his dance to buff. Getting pretty brave there. Or greedy, one of the two. Careful for these boxes. Rats are going to pop out. Now, depending on the armor that you have, by the way, is going to determine how many Titanite shards you're going to need to level it up. Because I'm wearing um, light armor, it's only going to take me three Titanite shards per armor piece to level it up. As if you're using a heavier armor, it's going to take more to level it up. My advice to everybody is to go on the wiki and see how many shards you're going to need to level up your armor. Right here we can see an item, but there's also a hole. Be very careful. You can run and jump and grab that item, or you can just go around. What I like to do is pull out my bow here and shoot these rats. They like to run away. Plus, it's a pretty cramped area to be fighting rats with a sword your sword likes to bounce off the walls and stuff and it's just not really fun grab a soul and we're back here where we fought the big giant rat again hug the wall to the left so that you don't fall down the big hole if you want, you can kill these slimes or ate that slime. There's a couple big rats over here. Be extra careful. We're also going to get our first invasion over here. 
It's an NPC invader, so at least um, it's an NPC invader if you're playing offline. May not be the same if you're playing online, obviously. I mean, well, you'll always get it invaded by this NPC, no matter what. Online, offline, you'll always be invaded here. At least by Kirk. Get a backstab on him. That was very close. So we got his shield. And we got his barbed straight sword. So he always has a chance to drop either his shield or his sword. And if you're really lucky, he'll drop both. Now, you'll have multiple opportunities for him to drop that. So don't think that you're just out of luck if that didn't drop for you. We'll be fighting Kirk several more times. These guys, the Basilisk, be careful. They spew out a mist that will curse you if it builds all the way up. But the good thing about being human and having a high amount of humanity is that bar will be bigger. So it'll be harder for you to get cursed. Grab this soul real quick. Pick up some Eye of Death from... These Basilisks, they always have a chance to drop those. And then we get the Ring of the Evil Eye. It's actually a pretty good ring. For every kill on an enemy, you will gain some more health back. So if you're struggling a little bit, put on the um, Ring of the Evil Eye. We're going to come over here. At the top of these stairs, there's a hole. What I like to do is I like to get a running start. And as soon as I come around the corner... Hit the jump button. By the way, we pick up Hamani there. Uh, hit the jump button, and I usually make it across. Let's go ahead and backtrack now. The depths can be very confusing at times. Right up top, we have a slime. It won't let me lock on, but there is a slime up there. What I like to do is run by it. Let it drop down. And then kill it. We have a few rats as well. If you want to use your bow on them, you can. Either way. There was another rat. He must have ran off. It's alright. Let's go ahead and talk to Donhill. Aye, shall I? And good day to you. I'm Don of Xena. I'm just, well, a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Donald has gold pine resin, which will help you in the boss fight. So if you used all yours, you can buy some from him. I have two. I think that's all we'll need for the boss. He also sells some crystal weapons, along with standard arrows and... You know, just the regular arrows. And then his armor set. Well, that is a shame. But no matter. No, not to worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us. Someday. Sometime. Oh, there's that rat. You bastard. Quit hitting me. By the way, since we killed that channeler earlier, if you don't kill him, he's going to buff the boss while you're trying to fight the boss. And it just makes that boss so much harder. Go ahead and pick up the heavy crossbow. Right here is Lawtrek's sign. We're not going to summon him in. He's pretty uh, evil. 
He's an evil, evil dude. We're actually going to summon in Solaire. Good guy, Solaire. And we're also going to make sure that we're on our uh, gold pine resin. Let's go ahead and summon him in and then go straight through the boss fog. Wait for him to slam down. Usually he does. He might not this time. I'm going to buff my weapon here. Now. Oh, man. I didn't realize I was that close to him. Want him to get the attention of Solaire. We're going to take off his tail. There we go. Oh, he grabbed Solaire. Damn, Solaire is almost dead. We better kill this boss quick. Solaire might not make it through this one, guys. Nope. There's Solaire. He's done, though. Ripperoni, Solaire. Go ahead and hit his head. You'll get extra damage. Roll away, roll away. Then there's the gaping dragon. We get the Blight Town key from him. Or her, I don't know, whatever it is. Also some twin humanities and a homeward bone. If we come over here, we can get the hard leather armor, but we already have that, so we don't need it. Let's go ahead and use a homeward bone and head back to the depths uh, bonfire. I'll see everybody there. Everyone pour one out for poor Sol Solaire. So, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to show everybody this farming method. What you want to do is you want to start from this bonfire for the large Titanite shards and the green Titanite shards. And you want to run. Even if that guy jumps at you or, or runs at you, just keep running. You don't want these slimes to fall on you. And then you want to come over here. Kill the slimes. And if you have at least 10 humanity and you're human, you're going to have a better chance of large shards and green shards dropping. Right now I have 9 humanity and I'm human. So our item find or whatever you want to call it, item find, item discovery is a little higher. Unfortunately, we did not get a large shard or green shard from the slimes but it is possible here you want to come down here and kill these rats for a chance of getting humanity from them then 
This is the humanity farm. There's quite a few rats to kill, so this might go a little faster than the other farm for the large shards and green shards. We didn't get anything from the brats either. Wow, very unlucky on this run, which happens. Now you run all the way back to the bonfire, or if you're able to use miracles, you can use homeward um, and go right back to the bonfire and rinse and repeat. Sit at the bonfire, and then you do the run again, and you keep doing that until uh, you have enough. So I'll see everybody next time. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to, to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.